Let us say I would like to finish my garden shed project quicker than the scheduled 28 days. I have planned a backyard party later in the month, so I would really like this project finished by day 24 at the latest. Moreover, for every day that the project is ongoing, I estimate that it costs me $50 in overhead costs, including my time and effort to oversee everything. In addition, I have rented some storage space to keep my things until the shed is ready. My storage rental is paid up until the end of the calendar month, which is day 20 on my project schedule. After that, I am changing to a daily rental for $30 per day. Based on the above information, I can save $80 for every day that the project can be expedited. But what can I do to expedite the project? To figure out how to expedite the project, I make a list of how much each individual project activity can be expedited. By expediting or crashing some or all of these activities, I can expedite or crash the entire project. Consider activity A that normally takes three days. I call this the normal time duration. I reckon that I can expedite this activity down to a crash time of one day. But I also recognize that nothing comes for free. Crashing activity A is going to cost more than conducting it at a normal pace. The normal cost for activity A is $300, but crashing it will raise the cost to a crash cost of $400. That means I can gain two days by spending $100. That works out to $50 per day of crashing. Consider two different kinds of expediting. Suppose I need something shipped. I can spend $15 for regular five-day delivery or $50 for next-day delivery. The only options I have are one day or five days, all or nothing, I cannot choose two, three, or four days. On the other hand, suppose I have an activity that involves five days of labor. I can choose to use a little bit of overtime to finish in four days, or throw in some more overtime to finish in three days, or even more to finish in two days, etc. That is, I can crash the activity incrementally according to my needs. Crashing incrementally in this manner is often feasible for a vast many project activities. So when we look at the $100 for crashing activity A, we can assume that we have the option of spending $50 and crashing activity A down to two days, or spending $100 and crashing it down to one day. I proceed to list the normal costs, the crash times, and crash costs for all the activities. I then calculate the days available to crash and the crash cost per day. I can see that the cost of crashing varies from one activity to the other. Meanwhile, some activities cannot be crashed at all, namely C and I. Let me evaluate the cost of the project before expediting. Adding up the normal costs of all my activities, I get $6,350. These are called my direct costs. I then add the overhead cost of $50 per day for 28 days, which comes to $1,400. These are called my indirect costs. In addition, I have $30 per day storage rental for 8 days, which comes to $240. These costs are equivalent to penalty costs that may be applied by a client if a project exceeds a certain deadline. My total project cost for the normal schedule of 28 days is $79.90. To expedite my project, how about I select the cheapest activity to crash, that is J, Unfortunately, J is not on my critical path, so crashing it will only add to the slack 
but will not crash the project. I only want to crash critical path activities, that is, A, B, D, F, H, or K, The cheapest of these to crash is D, so I pick that. Most of the activities on the critical path cost more than the $80 per day that I stand to gain by expediting the project. So only activities A and D are worth crashing in order to save on the project costs. However, the reason I might still want to crash the other activities is to finish within the 24 days required for my backyard party. Activity D can be crashed by two days, but let me go step by step. I know that every time I change an activity duration, the critical path can change. If the critical path changes, then simply crashing D will not help. So I crash D by just one day. Bringing D down to 3 days brings my project duration down to 27 days. The critical path is still A, B, D, F, H, K. Evaluating the cost of my project, my direct costs have gone up by $25 due to crashing D. Indirect costs have gone down by $50 since there is one day less of overhead. Penalty costs have gone down by $30 since there is one day less of storage rental. My total project cost for the 27-day schedule has gone down to 79.35. Looking to crash further, D is still the cheapest critical path activity to crash, so let me crash it by one more day. I have now exhausted the days available to crash for D. Bringing D down to two days, brings my project duration down to 26 days. However, as we can see here, there are now two critical paths. A, B, D, F, H, K and A, B, E, F, H, K each one at 26 days. If I want to crash the project further, I will have to crash both critical paths. Evaluating the cost of my project, my direct costs have gone up by another $25 due to crashing D. Indirect costs have gone down by another $50 since there is one day less of overhead. Penalty costs have gone down by another $30 since there is one day less of storage rental. My total project cost for the 26 day schedule has gone down to 78.80. Looking to crash further, an easy way to crash both paths is to crash an activity that is common to both. Activities A, B, F, H, and K fit the bill. Of these, A is the cheapest, so let me crash that by one day. Bringing A down to two days cuts down a number of my paths, including the critical paths. It also brings my project duration down to 25 days. There are still two critical paths, A, B, D, F, H, K, and A, B, E, F, H, K each one now at 25 days. Evaluating the cost of my project, my direct costs have gone up by another $50 due to crashing A. Indirect costs have gone down by another $50 since there is one day less of overhead. Penalty costs have gone down by another $30 since there is one day less of storage rental. My total project cost for the 25-day schedule has gone down to $78.50. Once again, crashing A is the cheapest way to crash all critical paths. So let me crash it by one more day. I have now exhausted the days available to crash for A. 
Bringing A down to one day cuts down a number of my paths, including the critical paths. It also brings my project duration down to 24 days. There are still two critical paths, A, B, D, F, H, K, and A, B, E, F, H, K, each one now at 24 days. Evaluating the cost of my project, my direct costs have gone up by another $50 due to crashing A. Indirect costs have gone down by another $50 since there is one day less of overhead. Penalty costs have gone down by another $30 since there is one day less of storage rental. My total project cost for the 24-day schedule has gone down to $78.20. I have crashed my project down to 24 days so my backyard party is good to go. But every further day of crashing will still save me $80 in overhead and storage costs. Having exhausted the days available to crash for both activities A and D, I will have to spend more than $80 to crash all critical paths. So I stop crashing my project. My lowest cost schedule is one that finishes in 24 days. Note here that since I can still crash the project further, the 24-day schedule is not the shortest duration schedule.